Welcome to section 3-2 in pre-calculus. Now we're going to look at logarithmic functions and their graphs. And logs are just uh, the inverses of exponentials that we saw in the 3-1 video. So here in the box we got our definition of a logarithmic function with base a. And I like, let's start here. You know, we've got x equals base a to the power y. I'm just going to rewrite that. Uh, a logarithm is equal to an exponent, so this would be y equals, we'll have the abbreviation for logarithm log. The base over here was a, that'll be our log base, log base a, and then we say of x. Log base a of x is equal to y. These two are equivalent to each other. They would give you the exact same graph. So to, uh, to graph an inverse, we would just swap the x's and the y's, and you'll see that in one of our later examples. So here it says x has to be positive, a has to be positive, it cannot equal 1. And then it says y equals log base a of x if and only if x is equal to base a to the power y. The function given by f of x equals log base a of x is called the logarithmic function with base a. We could make that base number anything that we want. In example 1, we're just going to use that sort of definition to rewrite these logs as exponentials and uh, solve for the indicated value of x. So let's look at the first one here. I'm going to change that f of x to a y. We could write uh, y equals log base 2 of x, and x is equal to 32. So I'm going to write this full one out here. Log base 2 of 32 is equal to y. Well, this is log base 2, so 2 is the base. Logs are equal to exponents, so y is our exponent. And then this 32 is what this is equal to. So I've just turned the log into an exponential, and now let's use the one-to-one -one property to solve it. We've got 2 to the power y equals 32. I can write that as 2 to the fifth power. And now that we have the base is the same, we can set the exponent y equal to the exponent 5, and there's our final answer. Oops. Letter B, log base 3 of x log base 3 of x, but we're going to let x equal 1, and that is equal to y. So log base 3, 3 is the base, logs are equal to exponents, exponents y, and that's equal to 1. Ooh, now this we can't get the bases to be the same, but think it through, we got our properties of math. Something to what power always gives you an answer of 1? Well, the 0 power. Uh, 3 to the y, we could say is the same thing as 3 to the 0, and 3 to the 0 would be 1. And we could set our exponents equal, y equals 0. Letter C, log base 4 of x when x is 2. Log base 4 of x, oop, but that x is equal to a 2, and that's equal to some value y. Log base 4, 4 is the base, y is our exponent, and that is equal to 2. All right, what do we do to 4 to get it equal to 2? Well, we could divide by 2, but remember we're talking exponents here. What exponent would give us the same thing as, well, I guess just say a square root. Square root of 4 is 2, so that would be y equals 1 half power. 4 to the half power would be the square root of 4, and that is equal to 2. Letter D, log base 10 of x when x is 1 over 100, that's equal to y. Okay, log base 10, so it's 10. I, uh, y is our exponent, and that's equal to 1 over 100. All right, again, let's think one-to-one -one property. That 1 over 100, we could rewrite that as 1 over 10 squared. And then when we bring that 10 squared up from the denominator, the exponent would change to a negative. 10 to the negative 2. All right. Bases are the same. We can set this exponent y equal to the exponent negative 2. And we have our final answer. Moving on. Uh, the... Ooh, oh yeah. The logarithmic function function with base 10 is called the common log. Uh, 
It's denoted by log base 10 or simply, simply LOG. This is usually a button on a calculator. Yeah, on most calculators, this function is denoted by a button with log on it. Example 2 shows you how to use a calculator to evaluate common log functions. You'll learn how to use a calculator to calculate logs at any base in the next section. So let me grab my calculator here. And there it is. Uh, LOG log, log base 10. So what I could do here is just type in 10 and hit the log key and out pops a 1. 1. Uh, X is 1 third. So I'm going to do 1 divided by 3 equals. There's a third. And I'm going to log it. And we get negative 0.4771. All right, up next, two and a half, 2.5, hit the log, 0 0.3979, 0 0.3979. And our last one is negative two. Two negative, hit the log, boom, invalid input. Uh, the calculators in class might say error, so I'm just gonna write error. You'll see later when we look at the graph, you can never log a negative. Uh, logs aren't defined for negative inputs. All right, here's some for you to try on your own. Uh, in the first batch, <coughs> uh, evaluate them using those properties or rewriting them. Uh, the second batch is for calculators. So pause the video and give those a try. All right, for the first one. Uh, you should have got y is 0, because it was log base 6, base 6 uh, of when x is 1, so that's going to be equal to 1. So 6 to what power is equal to 1? Well, that have to be the power 0. Here we got log base 5, so that's 5 raised to some power is equal to 1 over 125, which is 1 over 5 cubed bring the 5 cubed up and make the exponent go negative 5 to the negative 3. So you could set y equal to negative 3 and the problem's over. <clears throat> Let's see this last one. Log base 7, so our base is 7, raised to some exponent is equal to this value of 343. And that's just a uh, 7 cubed. 343 is 7 to the third power. And now 1 to 1 property, y is equal to 3. Oops. All right, the three calculator ones below. If the button pushing went well, for the first one, you should have got a 2.4393. Uh, the second one, error, because it is a negative and we cannot log a negative. Last one down there that you can barely see is positive a half, and we get the value of negative 0.3010. I hope they went well for you. Okay, here's some properties of logs. And the first one we kind of already saw, log base A of 1 is equal to 0 because any base uh, raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. So any log base, if there's a 1 there, the output is always 0. Uh, number 2, let me make these a little bit bigger so I can scribble around on them. There we go. Uh, log base A of A is equal to 1, because we could rewrite it and say base A to uh, what power would be equal base A? Well, that would be to the first power. And this kind of bleeds into uh, the next one here, log base a of a to the x power is equal to x. So if you see something like this log base a, and this is the same number, then this exponent is the same thing as your answer. And sort of on the flip side of that, we have log base a of x, and that is raised up to an exponent above a base a. So we have, let me back that up one more. When you see this, this is the base to log with of the same base. Those are going to cancel each other out. And then your final answer is just that number, whatever x happens to be. Uh, the last one is a one-to-one -one property. Log base a of this is equal to log base a of that. Since they're both log base a's, this is equal to that. x is equal to y. Let's see a couple of these in action. 
Oops. So using the properties that we just saw, uh, we got a log base four of one. I don't care what that base is. As long as that's a one, we know the answer is zero. And that was property one that we just saw on the last slide. Uh, here we got log base root seven of root seven. You know, when these are the same, the answer is just gonna be the exponent up here. And since there is none, there's an implied one. So log base seven of seven to the first is equal to one. I think that was property two. Uh, let's take a peek at this last one here, make it a little bit bigger. Again, just like squares and square roots cancel, we have a log base six that's the exponent above the same base six. Six log base six is going to cancel, and the final answer is just going to be that 20. Uh, that would be the inverse property from the last slide. Inverse property. Okay, let's see here, using the one-to-one -one property, okay, these aren't bad. So we got a log base 3 of x is equal to log base 3 of 12. Well, they're both log base 3s, so we can set this equal to that. x is equal to 12. It's just that easy. Uh, the next one, we don't see a base number, so it's a common log, log base 10. Log is equal to log. So we can just set the 2x minus, or plus 1 equal to the 3x. Subtract 2x from each side. Now 1 is equal to 1x, so just x is equal to 1. Letter C, last one. I see a squared in there. Don't get worried. They're both log base 4s. Log base 4 of this is equal to log base 4 of that. So we can set x squared minus 6 equal to 10. Now a couple ways to solve this, probably the most obvious, we're going to add 6 to both sides, x squared is 16, and then take the root of both sides, and don't forget the plus and minus, so x would equal positive or negative 4. Ooh, but now that I look at, oh no, no, that, uh, incorrect. Because when we put the 4 in there and square it, it would always be positive, I was worried there might be a negative in that set of parentheses. Uh... No, that wouldn't happen. What do we got next? Uh, some for you to try and enjoy. Uh, these first three look like they're going to be the applications of the properties. The last one is the one-to-one. -one. So give the video a pause and give them a try. Don't be scared. All right, it looks for this one. Log base 9 of 9 to the first. That would just equal 1. Here we have 20 raised to the power of log base 20. Those are going to cancel, so we're just left with the 3. And we've got the log of 1. It doesn't matter what base we're using. That is always equal to 0. Okay, now the last one. Oops. Get up there. There we go. Uh, they're both log base 5s. Log base 5 of this is equal to log base 5 of that. So we can set x squared plus 3 equal to 12. And then we're going to subtract 3 from each side. x squared is equal to 9. And then we're going to square root that. And we get plus or minus 3. Okay. Uh, is that it? Oh, that's the end. Uh, odd problems in class. We'll do some web assign for homework, and I'll see you in the day two video.